I always like to eat something from where I'm hunting because I have this belief, and it's not scientifically proven, that if I eat a game animal as a meal where I'm hunting, it brings good luck because the animals realize that they'll be used wisely if they give themselves up to me. And that way, they'll be like, you know what? It's not so bad getting shot by that guy because at least that guy eats his game. That's what I feel like they'll be saying to themselves. And also, there's this Arctic explorer named Vladimir Stephenson. His name spelled out looks like Bill Jomer, but last name Stephenson. He made first contact with a lot of Eskimo hunters in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And in his book, which is a phenomenal book called My Life with the Eskimo, he explains how Eskimo hunters will, when they kill a polar bear, they take the polar bear's head home with them and put it in their tent so that the polar bear feels as though he's been treated well and that he can see how respectfully his parts are being used. And then in the afterlife, he'll explain to other polar bears that if you gotta get killed, this guy's not a bad guy to get killed by because he's very respectful to his quarry. Maybe it's just all in my head, but I like it anyway. I'm just trying to put words to why I like eating game in a spot where I'm at. And there's something sometimes I'll do. Like let's say I go deer hunting a spot one year and I kill a deer. I make jerky so that the next year when I'm hunting that spot, I'm eating jerky taken from the exact deer in the exact spot. And I feel like that brings you super duper good luck. There's two things that I don't think food always needs to do. I don't think it always needs to taste good. I think that some food, like, go, like its responsibility isn't to be good, its responsibility is to be like an experience, you know? So the, when I eat some kind of like crazy wild game, I'm not always judging it based on just like how good it is like I paid for it in the restaurant. Often I'm judging it just based on how interesting it was. Second thing it doesn't always need to do is it doesn't need to be totally nourishing in a caloric sense. Like this bird really is pretty slim pickings, right? And that doesn't make it not worthwhile because the experience is important. The other thing is just like a simple pragmatism, you know, just oppor being opportunistic. It's like I'm out here hunting pigs. Here's a quail. People pay good money to eat quail out of restaurants. It's open season. I have the proper license. Why not eat quail? Quail is good.